sex workers, what's the weirdest kink a customer has asked you to fulfill? I was a cab driver for several years. Night shift, ghetto. Loved that job. I had a regular escort who always requested me. Probably because I didn't ask her for anything whilst driving her to her next john. She'd go up into an apartment, house, or hotel room and have me wait. Sometimes a full hour, but rarely over 15 minutes. I never argued because waiting and a return trip keeps the meter running longer. One time she came down after maybe 10 minutes. She looked half amused and half terrified. She said that the guy had her put on a muumuu and an old lady wig, then yell at him while while he took a shit and he jacked off. Ducking weird. Freud would have something to say about that guy. Had a roommate in college who did private adult videos by request only. She came home pretty bummed one day and I asked what was up. She said she had been paid $500 to put on an adult diaper and comically large baby bonnet and walk otherwise naked around a local college green space. The whole video was her walking around with her fingers in her mouth acting like a confused adult baby. At the end she was told to pee in the diaper and show the camera. When she thought she was done the director asked if her she wanted to poo in the diaper for $1,500 instead of $500, saying the client asked if it was possible. She declined immediately and the director was I guess okay with it. She was bummed she missed out on making an extra $1,000 because she had pooped before going to work. We both laughed so ducking hard. What a ridiculous thought, darn, if only I hadn't pooped before work I'd be making some real money. Not one myself. But I knew a reporter who had done a story on the infamous red light area of Mumbai. One of the stories that stuck with all of us is of this one guy who'd turn up at one specific date every month with a duffel bag. Now you'd think he'd bring kinky devices with him to use on the sex worker, but instead, he'd bring a full set of traditional Indian wedding attire. The sex worker told the reporter that this specific customer would pay her whatever she asked, as long as she'd wear the wedding clothes. He would respectfully wait outside the room till she changed and then he would make her sit on the bed. He would pull up a chair, sit in front of her, and just look at her and weep. For two hours straight. Then he'd leave, without laying as much as a finger on her. Turns out, he had lost his wife to some freak accident hours after they got married and it messed with him big time. One of the saddest stories I've heard and it makes my heart ache immensely whenever I recount it. I once attempted to get into selling feet pics many years ago. This one guy messaged me and said he'd give me $200 if I was able to track down his identity in 30 minutes based off of a few clues he'd given me. He told me his state and job. And some surrounding area clues. Wasn't able to find him. Guess I'm not the next Sherlock Holmes. He was very heavily implying to me that he wanted to be humiliated to people he knew in real life and wanted me to have this power over him that I knew his real identity and could add him on his fetishes. Not a sex worker personally, but I used to manage and bartend at Gentleman's Club many moons ago. One night while I was tending the bar, one of the girls comes down to my bar, and asks me for an empty beer mug. I give it to her, she runs off to the bathroom, then comes back out with it, full of urine. She then runs off to her customer, mug full of yellow liquid in hand. A bit later, she comes back with the mug, now empty, tries to give it back to me, and I tell her to throw it away. She does so, then proceeds to tell me that a customer paid her $300 for her to pee in that mug, and then he wanted her to watch him drink it, which she did. Beyond that, I saw guys come in, pay girls to clean mirrors and tables in the club, and they simply watched, though a few would even get up and help them with the cleaning they were paying them for. One guy would walk in, talk smack to every girl he could, and when one would finally get angry enough to slap him, he would pay them $100 on the spot. FYI, this dude was about 80 years old. Some guys would even come in at the start of a shift, would bring panties with them, and ask a few girls to wear the panties all day. They would then later show up at the end of the shift, and pay the girls $100 and retrieve the used and worn panties. I think I might qualify as a one-time sex worker. One night, after riding the subway home from work, a guy followed me off the train and offered to buy the shoes off my feet. He stammered through some nonsense about being a sneaker collector and paid me $450 in cash for my old, sweaty canvas vans. Totally worth the two-block walk home in my socks. I camped for a bit. Kinks I disliked the most and unfortunately one of the most common to encounter were the doms who strolled into the chat already talking down to me, ordering me around and calling me pet names right off the bat. 
and then trying to keep that role play going during pay and kink negotiation, as if treating me like a sub would get them a better price and more access to my body. A swads. Even the force fantasy folks were more courteous about getting consent. Weirdest kink though, was being contacted by a couple different guys who wanted me to close up record myself farting into a jar and capturing it, and then mail them the fart jar. I didn't realize fart jars were in such demand. Another guy wanted me to record myself in my car, fully clothed mind you, as if it was a normal day, with my seatbelt on, he was very adamant about car safety, the request was to pretend like my car was a stick shift that had just broken down, and I didn't understand how they worked. He wanted me to jiggle the shifter, bounce in place, fiddle with controls and shake the steering wheel and grumble at the car as if frustrated for a few minutes, and then reach over and start searching through my car's manual and reading aloud the terms as if very confused and allowed wishing that I had a boyfriend who could help me. I got paid $200 for about 10 minutes of pretending to be confused while sitting in my car. Didn't even have to show it it. He was very sweet and patient about the whole thing. 10 tenths would film again about the <laughs> I'm due to did weird stuff during college to earn some extra cash. My job was to go to these afternoon parties organized by these filthy rich housewife and do catering service in our undies, undies were provided by the secret friendship company. If they would like us, they would put in a currency note of 50 or 100 in our undies and take a drank peek of the good stuff. Once a woman asked me to assist her for personal work to earn more cash. I told her that I will not have sex for money. She told me that I will not be required to have sex. I got on board. She took me to a room, paid me 5k just to watch her slowly undress and cry. I initially got scared as I thought she is framing me for rape. But she calmed me down and only asked me to watch. She slowly undressed herself while crying really loudly and then she lied on the floor naked bawling like a baby. There were actual tears and stuff. It was really sad for me, but 5k meant a lot during college days. Finally, she silently stood up, covered herself, went for shower while asking me to leave immediately. She took my number and we made it a monthly routine. I was terrified every time she called me for the work. But I still did 7 to 8 sessions for the cash before I accepted that it's too weird for me. I couldn't sleep nicely for 2 to 3 nights after each experience. Not too fancy like other stuff here but weird still. Not me but I heard this story from a friend of a friend who worked in a BDSM club. She had this client that would come in with a few bin bags full of nettles, it's a stinging plant for anyone not familiar. Anyway then they put a tarpaulin down on the ground so they could roll him up in it with the nettles like a joint, then she just kicked duck out of him and apparently that's what got him off. A guy hit me up for feet pics once, completely out of the blue. I know I know this basically bog standard. But I wasn't a sex worker and whoever this guy was, ended up hitting up about half of the guys at my college 400 guys. It was all in the span of a week or so and he offered good money per pic. All told I heard he spent upwards of 5k trying to accumulate a collection of my college's male feet. My mother was a full-time dominatrix basically my whole life. I grew up in NYC and she would have her slaves come over and do all of our housework, get us groceries, etc. The most out there dude wasn't the grossest, or the most perverted. He was a Hasidic Jew who wanted to be a rug in our house. He would pay my mother to lay on our floor and occasionally she would step on him but mostly he just wanted to be ignored. She also had a guy who would come over and pretend to be a chair. I was camming and a guy wanted to start a pay per minute camming show I agreed and just casually talked with him for a bit. Then to the weird part. He wanted me to lie in full view of the camera, completely still, like literally not move. I spent in about an hour just laying completely still and making no sound. I have no idea what he got out of it. I was a receptionist in a massage parlor. Had a guy who would ring before attending to request that a girl take a cold bath before he got there. Apparently, he would ask them to lie completely still as if they were dead. If he caught them moving, he lost his mojo. Most of the girls only saw him once and refused him thereafter. Creepy. <laughs> 